policies, it will boom. But if you fiddle with it, if you start punishing success, if you make snide remarks, if you go back to far-left progressivism economic policies, which is the near cousin to socialism, then it won't work. It just won't work. And we have to understand that. Last one. This is one of my favorites. I know it's obscure. Stay with me on this. 5G. 5G. That's the internet hookup, broadband hookup. Makes all internet go faster. We'll be driving cars and doing medical operations and Lord knows what. Literally at five times the speed of light or something like that. The National Economic Cast, I was the coordinator, intergovernment coordinator for this, probably because nobody else wanted to do it. But it's very important. It's very important here at home. You know, I want to get broadband connections to the exurbans and the rural people who haven't gotten it yet. It's very important for our industry, for our technology developments, and it's also very important to whip China. Okay? And I'll just say this article, Trump cleaned up 5G under his administration. We generated, we deployed 428 5G operations in 375 cities. We sold 5,000 megahertz of spectrum, which will be used to get not only urban 5G, but suburban and exurban and rural 5G. Rural 5G. So we're proud of that. Those are just a few. I'm going to quit. I've probably gone on way too long. Matt and Mercy have been wonderful to me in letting me give this out. Uh, I thank you for staying through all these numbers. Really, you're a wonderful audience. Thank you very much for that. And I want to make one last thought. I want to make one last thought. These policies of growth and security and America first, which were put into place under the enormously consequential presidency of Donald Trump, these policies will unify and unite Republicans and conservatives in the name of helping America's worker and economy and national security first. There's no division with these policies. I went from Reagan to Trump. The policies are similar, only more so. And that's why we should rally as conservatives and follow through on the remarkable achievements of former President Trump. That's what I have to say.